Yes, we're going to consider a topic throughout this conference that I've tied to kingdom giving is a response. <laughs> kingdom giving is a response. Now, the reason I have to maybe start from the top <laughs> is because your giving is that important. Yes. Giving is much more than the money that we bring to the Lord. There are so many scriptures I want us to go to and go through, but these are the main uh, focus that I want us to have as we look at these scriptures. Number one, my giving is much more important than the money that I put in the basket or the card that I swap or the, the, the cash app click that I click. Look at what happened. We're going to start from the beginning. Look at what happened between Cain and Abel. Reading from Genesis chapter 4, verse 4. The Bible says it clearly that God consider us even before our offering. Your offering is a response to God. When he listens, when he watch us give our offering, the, the amount, the timing, the frequency is a report card. And all of that is categorized under what I term tonight a response. When God looks at your giving, for those who are interested, those who understand, those who are willing to give, the cash app link is in the box, it's on Zoom. Those on YouTube, give us a few minutes, you, the link will be posted on YouTube. The ministry cash app. The question I wanted us to ask ourselves as we answer the question, when God looks at your giving, is it a correct response or is it a false response? Mm -hmm. You know what the correct response is? Let's go back to Genesis. The Bible says, Genesis chapter 4, verse 4, it said the Lord had respect for Abel and then he had respect for his offering. Please make sure you're putting the scriptures in the chat box because the people need to put their eyes on the scripture. That's what we said. It's very important for us to put our eyes on the scriptures. The offering you want to give tonight, the offering you want to give in the conference, is it a response or is it a reaction? Do you know God will see even your temperament, your attitude, your, your love or your disloyalty towards him from your offering? I am assuming that everyone is a kingdom citizen. How do you worship your king? With giving. You could see the temperaments and attitudes. You could see their understanding of the king and his kingdom by their giving. The Bible says Abel took the time, took the best, took the first. Ah, did you hear the concept? The best, the first, and gave it to the Lord. And what happened? The Lord responded. Why? Yes. Because he was giving as a response. He was not reacting in his giving. I have a challenge when it comes to us ministers of the gospel. We need to teach the people about their giving. I am very aware we are, we are in this conference because it's a kingdom leadership conference, there are a lot of leaders on this platform tonight. I might pause a minute and answer it's a question. Are you diligent in teaching your people that kingdom giving is not emotional? That kingdom giving is not a reaction? Are you taking the time to show them from the scripture, precept upon precept, that their giving life is important? Or on Sunday, you say, come and give your offering. And that's all. Ah, it's not a good thing. It's not correct. Why are you saying this, Mama Ima? 
Because if you look at what Cain and Abel did, it is very evident that they were taught on how to give. I'll show you from the scriptures. <laughs> I'll show you from the scriptures. Before we see that, I want you to see that King's giving was reactive. Angrily. God, by the way. And God said, okay, King, I get it. I understand. You have anger problem. But Cain, when even if you have anger problem with human beings, will you transfer it <laughs> to me, God? The one that gives you the bread to till the soil? He said, okay, Cain, let's, let's work on your anger matter. I am not going to receive your offering because you have anger issue. But I want us to work on this anger issue because it's going to cost you much more than me not accepting your offering. But he refused. At the end of the day, that anger matter, that anger issue that was reflected even in the way he gave, caught up with him. A lot of people don't know that your giving in this kingdom is a report card that shows the father how much you value him, how much you want to go with him, how far you want to go with him. I know you think Eber's life was cut short, but can I submit a report to you? No. In the physical? Mm -hmm. Yes, he left. But the Bible is talking about him in the book of Hebrews. Ah, do you see the benefit of giving as a response? We don't know how many years. We, I, I need to, maybe you do. I need to study and comprehend and store it in my memory the number of years that Cain lived on earth. If you know, we put it in the chat box, all of us can learn. But can you compare that with the blood of ever that is speaking? I hope you know the blood was spilled because of his sacrifice, of his giving. That was given as a response. Listen, it's, Ima is never out of words. <laughs> if I continue <laughs> like I want to, we will not be doing other things tonight. But listen, you want to be the one that will be remembered by the father. Your lineage will be remembered. Daddy will reward you. Never give reactively. I never will tell anybody give right now because if you don't give, people global impact is going to, what? Why? This kingdom, daddy food his bills. Your giving is for your benefit. Our giving is for our benefit because it's a response to God's love. It's a response to God's giving. It's a response to who he is to you as a person. To those in the Bill family, I've taught us already. The first person you give to when you go to a conference is the ministers. The people that will be ministering, that's the first person you sow into. The next offering that you give is for to take care of the conference. Even if you have $5, make sure the first dollar goes to the priest. It's a simple principle. Your prosperity is in your man of God. Your prosperity at the conference is at the minister's grace. And if you don't sow into that grace as a response, you go to a meeting reactively, you come back the same. Can I shock us? If it could be a shock, it could be something you already know. Your giving is not what makes your pastor or your man of God prosper. Your giving is what makes you prosper. Why? Because when you yes. give, you unlock the grace that is needed to take you to your next season. And that's what I call a response. You do it from a place of spiritual intelligence, not just, I feel like giving. Are we listening? Is anybody here? Yes. yes. Don't mm -hmm. give because somebody said to give. You give because you know the benefits. You give because you're appreciating. You give because you have come to the understanding that this is my life. Can anybody ever talk about offering without talking about Abel? <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Somehow, Eben is going to come in there. Why? Because he's the pattern man when it comes to the first fruit, when it comes to tithing, when it comes to giving us an honor, even before Papa Abraham. Tomorrow, that's, we are only having one offering tonight. Even in our next session, we will not have an offering. So if you're giving for this conference, the first seed or the, the first night offering, please, I want you to know that you're not giving to anybody. You're giving to yourself. You're giving responsively because it's going to be rewarded. Do it in the mindset of, Lord, I thank you. You've loved me so much to give me a seed. Give your first and give your best. This is your first seat in the conference. Give your best. I have taught all my spiritual children. We don't tip God. We don't. <laughs> he doesn't need anything. He doesn't. I hope you know that Cain gave something. <laughs> Do you know Cain gave something? He did. But he gave it reactively. Hey, they have given us a link. And now they are telling us about giving. Okay, let me give now. Uh-uh. That's a response, but it's a wrong response. And it's not going to attract the attention of your king. It's very important. Don't miss the next session. Because I'm going to break down some things about kingdom. There's a response of the kingdom of God when it comes to offering. And there's a fleshly response when it comes to offering. I pray that tonight all of our giving will be given from the mindset of the kingdom. Knowing that this is about a family and we do it for our daddy. I'm about to pray. Just so you know, there's going to be a, a cure and a at the end of tonight's session. If there's something I said that you really want to know more about when it comes to offering and giving, please come to that cure and a session. And guess what? All your questions will be answered according to the word of God, according to the precepts of the kingdom. We're going to be inviting somebody to pray over the offering message. I'll hand over. Thank you all. My prayer is that you will give as a positive kingdom of God response in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Over to you, Minister Ivai. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Welcome. I've heard now is the time to respond. Respond correctly to God's love. So we'll call mm -hmm. in our next speaker, Papa Scott. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Known for good works. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's welcome our Papa. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Minister Ivai. Thank you, Mom, for this privilege. Okay, let me go right to my assignment. We'll be praying for the offering message. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that, he, that these words, that our spirit that have gone out, will enter in and bear fruit in the name of Jesus. Now, these spirit words won't just be mere words, that they'll come with the grace to do, that we will think about our giving, we will respond to you correctly, Daddy, mm -hmm. and that we will give and produce fruits from our giving. Every time as we come to give our offering to you, Daddy, we will give ourselves first to you mm -hmm. and let our gifts be followed in honor of you, Daddy. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Back to you, Minister Ibai. Thank you. Thank you, Papa Scott. Thank you. You're welcome. So those on YouTube, the YouTube link has been, um, our giving link has been shared on YouTube. Those in Africa, you know, we have various channels where to give. If you're in Ghana, you know, contact Miss Peggy and Cameroon, Miss um, Colette. If you're in Nigeria, Pastor Joseph Buluso, send your offerings to him. And then those in the US, 
I mean, Cash App is there, so <laughs> you don't need to contact anyone. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to our uh, first teaching of tonight. Is it tonight? Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Woo. Is anyone excited? Woo, 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 woo. Are you excited yeah. to receive? Let's see your emojis from the chat box. Hallelujah. 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 I'm hungry. Okay. I need to see your emojis. Send them, send them, send, send them. Send emojis. Send them, send them. Send emojis. <laughs> happy emojis. Wow. Thank you, Lord. It's a great privilege and honor for me to introduce to you guys our mother, our teacher, our yeah. mentor. Yeah. Has, has... <laughs> 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 wow. What a blessing to have a mother. Thank you, Ma. We are so happy. We are grateful to have you. Without further ado, family, I present to you Mama Ima. Let's make welcome Mama Ima. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, we are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I, I don't like when people are quiet because the winning side is the joyous side. Yes. There's no fear of the spirit that started. Because your mic is off. I want everybody's mic to be on. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know you are inspired, but your mic can be on too, right? But I enjoy it. That's right. Hey, sister, you are the mother of twins. Come on. Make welcome. Um, I have a very, very good, good, good sister, a pastor as well. Um, Minister Emily Mukoko, can you make her welcome? Hi, Pastor Emily. Good to meet you. I'm so happy to be with you. I'm so happy. Welcome. Welcome. Amen. Welcome. We, we pray that you'll be blessed. Maybe you're already blessed. Keep. I am already blessed. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please say, say, say a word really quick. Before I introduce an amazing, our papa is in the house, but papa is going to come last. <laughs> <laughs> family and Coco, to the family before I begin to teach. What a blessing to have you. Go ahead, sis. It's always it's always good to, to be with people of God and to learn. Amen. It's always refreshing to get a word from God. I'm so happy. I'm so pleased. Um, and I'm looking forward to be blessed. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for the invite. Thank you. Thank you. That's my classmate. Thank He's like me. a sister. Very, very good woman, of course. I like how you mm. Right. Without much ado, I can't teach now when my father is here and sitting and listening. My God, I, can't do it. <laughs> I don't know what he's trying to do to me, but hey, let's let's hear what he <laughs> maybe his prayers will help us to teach better. Amen. Papa, Daddy, Ibabo, let's put our hands together as we give him a mic. Oh. Hey, the man of God. Daddy, say something. Anybody excited? We are yes. so uh, I'm excited. So I'm, I'm yes. Aha, they are excited. They are. <laughs> Amen. Greetings Amen. to everybody on the platform today. Yes, we send you from Africa, Cameroon. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want to celebrate you all, especially the woman of God, uh, oh. endowed with a lot of wisdom and uh, precision, especially uh, spiritual accuracy. I want to celebrate you for what you're doing. You're blessed. Amen. Um, Amen. So this is awesome what you're doing. I just wanted to be a part of the fellowship just to hear and see what is happening. Amen. And, uh, it is okay. Uh, I believe it is a season that God is raising kingdom takeovers. Amen. 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 Amen.
Raising people from across the world. You know, uh, like the Shunammite said, it will be like the army that is coming from heaven and the army that is coming from the earth. They will meet each other. There is an mm. army God is raising for himself that will take over this earth. Amen. Amen. There is a generation that will know no limit, that will know no bounds. Amen. And I believe God is here marking those kind of people like Samson, mm. whose job is to earmark, whose mm. job is to get the, the 300 foxes Amen. and begin to pay them together to burn down the the systems of the Philistines to burn yes. down, you know, the challenging systems from the economic systems, the political systems to infiltrate all the different uh, arms of leadership and governance yes. to be present in the media, present everywhere. Yes. So I believe God is here marking and raising people and such platform that is exposed like this, this conference June, uh, this June conference, I believe is a time when God is going to be releasing an anointing that will separate you and put you apart. So I want you to glean everything you will be hearing. I want you to receive everything you will be listening. It may not make sense now, write it down. It may not, you may think you already know, write it down. The Bible says once has the Lord spoken, but twice have I heard. Mm-hmm. So once you begin to hear, it takes you to another dimension. The simplicity of the gospel is each time you hear a word, you humble yourself to say, Lord, take me to the next level. That's why you can read a scripture today. It opens you up to a window. And the next time you read the same scripture with an open heart, the Lord will take you deeper. And you read the same scripture next time, it takes you higher. Mm-hmm. The next time you read it, it takes you wider. Yeah. And that is how scriptures begin to expose itself to us by, by God. So as you begin to listen to this vessel, you listen to this woman of God, I want you don't be familiar to her. I know it's your mother. I know you've been listening to her, but listen to me. You must make the difference between the prophet God has given to you and the woman you know. If you're going to receive from her, you must receive with that intensity. You can be so familiar that the gift of God is by you, and yet you don't receive that which God has packaged in that particular gift. And there are people who come from afar and will glean from that wisdom. One word from her mouth can change their destiny and they begin to run with stories. So I believe this is a historic event. Don't just take it. It doesn't always come by. And each time God gives you a privilege, you want to seize the occasion to be able to uh, glean all that which you can. So I just say the blessings of God upon you in this season, that as you hear you hear right, that the Lord will give you the spirit of understanding in this season. He will man you with the grace it takes not just to hear, but to do, to be able to grow and pursue. Papa, shift your mic. We need to hear better. This prayer cannot be missed. I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> your mic shifted. Okay, sorry. Something happened to it. No, we can't miss this. The devil is a bastard. <laughs> it is well. Are you hearing me now? But there's, there's a glitch that can be fixed. I don't know why it's doing that. All right. We'll still receive. We'll be focused. We'll receive. Mm-hmm. We will not miss it. Amen. Said, mm-hmm. is, and I open it, and my prayer is that God will open your eyes. God will do a quick work, a quick mm-hmm. work in this season. In those days, he says, I will do a quick work. Because and I have no expectation that this gospel is going to take maybe a longer time for eyes to be open. Mm-hmm. 
Lord, I pray under this conference, your eyes will be open quicker than Amen. ever. Amen. That the eyes of your understanding be enlightened, that you will know what is the hope of your calling and the glorious inheritance in of the Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now let grace be made available. Let grace be made to this yeah. prayer please make sure you pray this prayer more than twice yeah what to do papa we can't thank you enough thank you so much for connecting we are so so grateful and we say thank you thank yes, you thank you. So well. thank you very much shalom papa we are we are not saying you should go we are saying thank you <laughs> so that if there's any correction you have to make at the end we receive it we have not arrived at all. We are still learning and perfecting. So it's it okay. Well. You still have time. It's okay to be with us. It is well. Amen. Okay. Our love to Mama Leslie and the children. I will do so. She is hearing. Oh, yay. Let's say hi to Mama Leslie, everybody. Hi, Mama Leslie. Hi, Mama Leslie. Hi. 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 All right. <laughs> Oh, hey. oh, she's responding. Hey, let's listen. Let's hear it. Looks like she's here. Hello, everyone. Hi, Mama Leslie. Hello, Mama, Hello, Mama Leslie. Mama Leslie. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited. I've been live with you people, and I've been so blessed. Thank you so much. Uh, we are seeing and we hope to follow through. Thank you so much. The Lord bless you. Amen. If you make up your mind, you're in for rewards. And the most beautiful thing is that the rewards in this kingdom are for here and now. It's for here and now and the life after.